<laughs> hey, yo. Uh, listen to this shit here. Yes, and watching that game on Monday night, uh, what happened to DeMar Hamlin struck me a little different. Um, as a brotherhood in the NFL, when injuries happen, when we know injuries are a part of the game, I've seen guys suffer ACLs and Achilles tear, but I've never seen anybody have to be revived and fight for their life on the field. So it struck me a little differently because I remember seeing my brother paralyzed on the field temporarily, and he was able to regain focus. Um, Skip tweeted something, and although I disagree with the tweet, uh, and, and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down, but I didn't want it. Well, yep. Time out, time out. I'm not going to take it down because okay. I stand by oh. what I tweeted. Skip, let me, okay. let me All right, okay. go ahead. No, you go. Go ahead, let's go, Jen. Okay. I mean, I cannot even get through a monologue without you interrupting okay. me. Well, you could have came back, Skip. Well, I thought, Skip, just let I'm, I, I, I was going to bring up. No, no, I was just going to say, Skip, I didn't want to yesterday to get into a situation where Demar Hamlin was the issue. We should have been talking about him and not get into okay. your not get into your uh, your tweet. That's what I was going to do. But you can't even let me finish my opening monologue without you interrupting. Okay. I was under the impression you weren't going to bring this up because nobody here had a problem with no, that tweet. No. Clearly, the bosses wanted you to offer explanations, so clearly... No, they did not have... Nobody... Let's go, Jen. Thoughts and prayers remain with DeMar Hamlin. That's where the focus should have been, and not on the football game. Now, what we just witnessed in that video was a prime example of white privilege being flexed. There's no other way to explain that. I'm going to tell you how. Now... Say that was Tom Brady that got injured. It would have been a whole different ball game. Skip would have wanted to shut down America. He'd have won a national holiday or something like that. What we witnessed here is a white man basically saying, shut up boy. Basically, shut up nigga. That's what, that's what Skip Bailey was saying to Shannon Sharp when he cut him off. He's basically saying, shut up nigga. What you gonna do about it? This is a white man's world. That, that's basically what he was saying. And the fact that he sat there and tried to change the narrative and act as if no one was upset about it shows, shows, definitely shows the blatancy and the lack of care for the feelings of the people in the black community. See, what he's showing here is that you can say whatever you want about black players. A black player could almost drop dead, which he almost did. That player almost died on that field. And as long as you're black, you can say whatever you want about him. Whatever you want. Skip Bayless has been disrespecting black athletes for the longest time. If you go and look at his... Um, Look at the difference between the way he talks about black players and white players. Just look at just go look at the difference. Number two, I watched a lot of videos about this before I even decided to make a video. And what pissed me off is people were like, oh, he shouldn't be canceled over a tweet. An insensitive tweet about a man who almost died on the field that he personally wrote, right? He wrote the tweet. But Kyrie Irving got ridiculed, almost lost his job, he lost sneaker deals, he almost lost everything over retweeting. I cannot stress this enough. He retweeted a video. He didn't write it. He didn't make it. All he did was retweet it. They felt it was insensitive. Damn near canceled him. Lost, almost lost everything. They almost buried that man alive. So how is it fair that Skip Bayless, a white man, gets to personally, personally write an insensitive tweet about a player who almost lost his life in front of the world. The whole world watched this man almost lost, lose his life. He personally wrote that insensitive tweet and he gets away with it. But Kyrie Irving, a black man, retweeted, retweeted a video that he had nothing to do with. He didn't make 
all he did was retweet it. And he didn't retweet it recently, he retweeted it a while ago. That right there lets you know that white privilege is still in effect. You got fucking Ky Kanye West uh, being ridiculed, Kyrie Irving being ridiculed over some things that they said or things that they tweeted, but Jerry Lewis can be one of the racist white people standing out in front of a school denying entry to black folks. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Skip Bayless is a talentless bum. For real, for real. If you take Shannon Sharp out the equation, if you take him from that show, what do you have? Don't worry, I'll wait. He's never played a professional sport. He doesn't even look like he's ever even played a sport. And he's allowed to disrespect Shannon Sharp. He disrespects LeBron James. He disrespects black players all the time. Not one time did you ever hear this man disrespect a white player. But the fact of the matter is, he should be canceled because he wrote an insensitive tweet. He basically said, fuck that nigga. What's up with the game? What's going on with the rest of the game? Fuck that nigga. I don't care if he almost died. That's what Skip said. Pretty much. He didn't, you know, say that verbatim. But that's basically what he was saying. That's basically what he was saying. If Shannon Sharp has said the same thing about Tom Brady, they will be hanging Shannon Sharp from a tree right now as we speak. He should be canceled. He should be fired. He should be never allowed to do this job again. Him and Stephen A. Stephen A. Smith ain't even right to tweet, but he always defending these, these racist white folks. He always defending his massa. So, yeah. Because I heard a lot of white analysts say, oh, it's just a tweet. Why should it be canceled? Well, I didn't hear you guys say that when Kyrie got in trouble for that re retweet. So, Skip Bailey should be canceled. He should have been canceled. He doesn't even say anything that's really, like, factual. He doesn't really, he doesn't know sports. You don't know what the fuck he's talking about, and everybody knows that. Everybody. This is a huge, huge example of white privilege being flexed. That's it's nothing more, nothing less. They don't do it behind closed doors anymore. They do it in front of our faces. And then sometimes they get other people of our own race to defend them when they do it. No, not sometimes, all the time. When they're wrong, they go and get our own people to defend them. That's just what it is. But that's just my humble opinion on this situation. Definitely let me know how y'all feel about it in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, most importantly, Remember to hit that notification bell and make sure it's on all so you can be alerted and notified whenever I drop this heat. It's your boy, the one and only Brenda's baby, Remiel Ma'at. You were just tuned in to my Ot TV. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Until then, you better be careful there, little buddy. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> I do cocaine, don't tell nobody. <laughs>